Get full episodes of The Damage Report as a podcast on iTunes and Android, and you can watch the live show every weekday on YouTube TV. Louis C.K. has popped back up in leaked audio of a new set, and uh, he apparently is not really backing off of the controversial stuff. So we're gonna play some sections of it. This is again, leaked audio uh, posted on YouTube, and then we'll react, here is the first section. I don't know they testify in front of Congress, these kids, like, what the f what are you doing? You're, you're young, you should be crazy, you should be unhinged. Not in a suit saying, I'm here to tell f you. You're not interesting. Because you went to a high school where kids got shot? Why does that mean I have to listen to you? Why does that make you interesting? You didn't get shot, you pushed some fat kid in the way, and then now I gotta listen to you talking? Okay, so that's that's a tough one. Uh, it's what was your awful. reaction? <laughs> yeah, I mean, of course, my reaction is this is terrible. It, it's mm -hmm. I guess it's on brand though. Yeah, well, yeah. I, mean, I think for him, even person kind of box that he's been playing in. Yeah, look. So I will, I will say up front. Uh, for years, Louis C.K. was my favorite comedian. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I've watched basically everything he's done for a couple of decades. So I understand the context. And I he will does. Say, I watched a couple of his FX shows. His show is really good. <laughs> um, so here's the thing. I, I am fandom. generally, I'm of the opinion that. Comedians can and should joke about literally everything. Okay, and I absolutely but they not. can or cannot succeed at it, and I think that this is not there. I can imagine a world in which you could make a joke about the Parkland kids that was actually funny. You can, I guess. I wouldn't try to make it, and this wasn't really there. I know that Fred Guttenberg, who's a friend of the show, one of the Parkland parents, was. Not happy about this. I've yeah. seen other Parkland kids reacting really negatively. I would say you can you can try to joke about anything as a comedian, um, but you also have to choose your targets. And if you are doing a several minutes about this, then you're not doing about other stuff. And so I would only do it if you really had nailed it. And uh, I think this is kind of unnecessarily controversial. I don't think there's other stuff in this set, by the way, which I do think is funny. Um, I don't think this really gets there. Although again, I'm generally hands off when it comes to actual comedians, not political pundits who occasionally joke around and then try to use that as a cloak, like Jesse Waters or whatever. He's not a comedian, but Louis C.K. is a comedian. So I think, you know, marketplace of ideas and you know, for capitalism for comedy. Like if people want to go, they're going to go. But as a longtime Louis C.K. fan, I did not love this section. Yeah, I no, I mean, I guess I. I, I, I don't know, I don't even understand why you would have the desire to even attempt to make something funny yeah. out of this. I don't know, That I think that just says, I, I don't know. You wanna hear a little bit more? Sure. Okay, here's the next section. <laughs> People get upset because they're young, right? They died so young, that's offensive to me. Because I, what if I die now, f me? <laughs> Everybody's gonna die, why is it worse? I mean, old you know like when you tell somebody my grandmother died, they're like, oh, how old was she? She was 98. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you even tell me? So here's the thing, if he was not talking about kids who had been killed in a massacre in schools, right. I would say this is what Louis C.K. does. He points out weird gaps in how we talk about things. And he's right, it should be, as sad if a 98 year old dies, but yeah, if you hear the 98 year old dies, you're kind of like, well, yeah, they die. That's what they do. I mean, that's just a cute way to look at it. He also like spews like racism and like homophobia, like in it. Mm -hmm. But I guess because he's a comedian, like we can like dress it up and say that he points out. It's just a lot of like. I, I'm not. By the way, in my defense of comedy, I'm not saying that anyone has to like it. Obviously, no, but for it sure. Is, it is like. There are books written about these topics that can have characters who believe bad things. I mean, to, to, to some extent, comedians are playing characters, obviously. So I'm saying approach, I, I approach- he, From what we know about him, uh -huh. is he playing I would say a character? Is, I would say this is fairly real to who he is. <laughs> well, all but right, I'm and so that's that probably my problem with this. It is, I don't like some, and by the way, we're not gonna be able to play all of it. There's other areas he gets into like non-binary uh, pronouns and things uh -huh. like that in a way that I would say, you're you're coming off as just an unnecessary old man. I would say it reminds me of some of the worst stuff that Jerry Seinfeld does, where I just don't understand why that is what you are choosing to focus your efforts on. It's just so particular to the comedian's own personal interest. He's just like being himself. But he is a comedian. <laughs> it is an art form. It is a a way to elicit truth. 
He's also kind of I a bad like guy. The- so it's like, which which title are we going with today? Mm-hmm. He's a comedian. He's kind of just kind of a bad person. Yeah. yeah. Look, <laughs> I, I would just say if if I was Louis C.K. or if I was his publicist uh-huh. or if I was his PR manager and I was trying to evince a comeback. This is probably not how I would do it, right. but then he's far, far more famous and wealthy than I am. No, and it'll work because, you know, it'll work. No, we'll see. Anyway, there are other sections, you can find them. It's it's hard because it's comedy and people can, can choose to go or not go. Yeah. I, it's complex. Thank you very much for watching this clip from the damage report. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell on YouTube to get notifications of our new videos. And of course, you can catch the full damage report live every weekday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on TYT Network on YouTube TV.